everyone. I'm Jill Nicolini for Convention TV at NAM. This show is written by the editors of the music and sound retailer and produced by the great team at Testa Communications. Welcome to day three of our NAM show coverage. As a reminder, each day of our Convention TV at NAM broadcast can be seen streamed to your mobile devices and computers on demand so that you can always keep on top of the news no matter where you are. Let's get the show started right now with our field correspondent, Melora Donahue. Hello, Melora. What do you have going on for us today? Taylor Guitars is what's up, Jill. And I have the joy right now to be standing here with Andy Powers, who is the master guitar designer, which is quite a title, of Taylor Guitars. Andy, tell us what's new at Taylor this year. Well, this year, we're really excited to be introducing our Grand Pacific guitar. This is something that's been in the works for about the last five years now. So it's we're thrilled to finally get to bring it here and show everybody and get it into the hands of musicians. It's, at first glance, it's what we'd call a round shoulder dreadnought, but the reality is it's an entirely new voice, a new sort of sound, especially for Taylor guitars, based on our V-class architecture that we had first introduced last year. That's a way to build an acoustic guitar that has a lot more dynamic range, a lot more range of expression for any style of musician. So we're thrilled to be introducing it here. Big things have been going on at Guitar Center. According to its executives, the business is looking strong. The company recently spent $5 million to reopen its flagship Hollywood store. For an exclusive interview on the state of Guitar Center, check out the January issue of The Music and Sound Retailer, available at booth 10318 right now. Or, of course, you can check it out online, the digital edition on msretailer.com. Okay, you will never guess who Melora ran into. Let's head on down to the show floor right now to see who she has for us. Right now, I am standing with CEO of RCF, Arturo Vicari. Arturo, we're interested to know the reasoning behind the acquisition of DPA microphones. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. We, RCF, are probably one of the best manufacturers of drivers. Drivers are very important in the sonorization because they represent the sound that the, the people listen. The only other important part in the sonorization is the microphone. Considering the quality of our drivers, we wanted to have the best microphones. DPA today represented excellence in microphone. This has been the main reason of our acquisition. All right, let's switch gears to some more of the biggest product launches out there. First up, Sabian just completed a major product line overhaul. Melora has all that scoop. I'm inside the Sabian booth where there's some big news at this year's show. The company is completely transforming their AAX line of cymbals for the first time in 25 years. The line now features thin, medium, and heavy models, plus a whole new look. These AAX cymbals are made using a completely new hammering technique that uses a larger, rounder peen. That means they produce a wider range of tones from dark to bright with increased complexity. Sabian has also streamlined the overall AAX line. Some of the less popular models have been delisted, but don't worry, you'll still get your hands on the popular Explosion, Freak, Arrow, and Omni models. The new Thunder 1500 by Voco Pro gets the party started right. It offers DJs, karaoke players, and musicians an all-in-one powered speaker with a built-in professional light show. The 15-inch woofer pumps out 1,000 watts of peak power, while the built-in LED derby light flashes to the beat of the music. It offers a variety of wireless connections, plus guitar and microphone inputs. And it can be plugged in or battery powered, so it can go wherever the party takes you. With so much going on at the NAM Show, keep organized and informed with the new NAM Show's mobile app, featuring the most up-to-date schedule of education sessions and events, as well as a 3D map of the entire campus to help you get around. Let's head back over to Melora, who got to check out the latest products at Yorkville Sound. Jill, you're right. I've got the latest and greatest for you over here at Yorkville Sound. And my friend Darren is going to fill us in 
Talk to me about Yorkville 2019. So uh, we have a very new, uh, exciting series out at Yorkville Sound called the Synergy Array Series. Uh, the Synergy Array Series features uh, an SA-153 top box, three-way self-powered, with a SA-315S powered subwoofer underneath. So the design of the SA-153 is actually using licensed technology by Tom Danley, uh, both his Synergy horn and patented Paraline lens. And with the subwoofer, uh, we have a triple 15 design base reflex. So the top box is 2600 watts program, again self-powered, a triamp box and the subwoofer is a 315 vertical uh, subwoofer that features uh, 6500 watts of program power. So uh, a lot of output, uh, great sound quality, very scalable, and I hope, we hope this does really well for 2019 and onwards. Hey guys, I'm hanging over here at the onstage booth who is celebrating 40 years at the NAMM show. Very impressive. Anyway, came over to check out what stands out over here. Get it? Anyway, this company has some super cool products for the keyboard player. The new KSA 8500 Deluxe Keyboard Tier has everything they need to add all kinds of equipment to their stage setups. It has two sets of fully adjustable arms that can support additional keyboards, synthesizers, laptops, you name it. The product is compatible with one inch square or her own 30 millimeter round tube stands. And it can be used with OnStage's X stands. Convention TV at NAMM is independently produced by Testa Communications, the publisher of the music and sound retailer DJ Times and Sound and Communications magazines. And if you're an MI retailer and you don't subscribe to the music and sound retailer, well, what are you waiting for? Head over to msretailer.com slash subscribe to sign up. And it's completely free and you'll get access to our print and digital editions each month. You can also sign up for the Retailer Report, which is our new monthly e-news letter. Now, you never know what you'll see at the NAMM show. That's why Melora and the crew are always roaming the show floor. They keep an eye out for anything interesting, and I bet she has something good for us. Mel? Right now, I am at Pioneer DJ. These guys I've been friends with for a very long time, but I heard that DJ J has been in hibernation, and I gotta get him out, okay? So I got the code for the little hibernation room. I'm gonna find this man. <laughs> Jay! Oh, hey, Melora. What's up? You think you could do a little convention yeah, TV yeah. interview? Is it 19? It's 19. Wow. Yeah, let's do this. You talk record box. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's do this, Jay. Tell me all about record box. Talk about the XDJ RR. It's my newest version of the XDJ series, which is a standalone unit that works off of a USB drive, or you can play with record box on the computer. Two channels, your microphone, your effects, everything you need. Fully mobile, mobile DJs, wedding DJs, small club, small bar, whatever you need, this is the piece you need to go with. Visit the NAMU Education Center in the Hilton for hundreds of career building sessions spanning music retail, pro audio, and event technology. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, aus. Okay, now this is something I've really been looking forward to. We've had a brand new addition to Convention TV at NAMM. You've always heard great info from the manufacturers, but when do MI retailers really get their say? The answer is right now. We've asked some top retailers to stop by the music and sound retailers booth to tell us why they attend the NAMM show and what they've seen or heard so far at the show that will help them and their business. Here's what they had to say. Here with Robert Christie from a g Central Music to talk about the NAMM show. Robert, first of all, why do you come to NAMM? Well, for many reasons, but for us, the most important thing that happens here is it's our opportunity to get some professional development and the educational sessions that my team goes to, myself included, here at the NAMM show are, there's no other place to get that kind of education. It makes our business better. We come home from the show. Everyone's energized, motivated, and we try to implement the ideas that we learn here. Zach and his team are unbelievable in putting that program together. Okay, and tell me what you've seen, heard, or attended that you've really liked so far at the show. I love all of it. Um, I feel like what's great for us is, uh, you know, I'm in the school music business, right? And there's so much more than that. As uh, Joe says, it's the tribes, right? They're all under one roof. Sometimes you get in your own box of what you do, and it's nice to get here with people that do things differently, and you can learn from them. And so, you know, a lot of the events that NAM puts on, like even the evening concerts, last night I went to go see Black Violin, not only did I enjoy the concert, it was amazing, but I was standing next to someone that really enlightened me on something that I wasn't doing right in my business that I can take back now and change, so. 
Okay, great. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm here with Robin Sassy and Kimberly Deverell from San Diego Music Studio. First, Robin, I want to ask you, why do you attend NAMM? The food, primarily, yes. Um, no, really, uh, we come here to meet our vendors, take a look at new products, um, help communicate some of our philanthropic events, such as our Filipino uh, ukulele project, that sort of thing, uh, make connections with people. Okay, and uh, Kimberly, you? Yeah, on top of all of that, I love the education program. NAMU has totally changed our business over the years, and there's just a lot of valuable information out there, and so I love to go to the education sessions. Okay, great. And now we're three days into the show, so um, what have you seen or liked so far? Could be uh, a booth, a product, an educational session. What, what have you checked out that uh, has been good? The vendors have some great booth ideas and the way they present their products, and that gives us ideas for our store and what to do and how to present our products to our customers. Great, thank you. So far, one of the highlights for me has been the Swim Foundation events. Sure. Um, we we had the swim meet on Wednesday night, and we just had a luncheon earlier today, and I've met a lot of new women in the industry, and I'm just excited about where uh, the future of that organization is going, right, and I'm yeah. happy to be a part of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a smart, uh, smart Women in Music smart event. Women in Music, okay. yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm with Menzie Pittman from Contemporary Music Center. Menzie, first of all, why do you attend the NAMM show? Well, the Enam Show is a unique collection of both uh, education uh, opportunities and product opportunities, lots of new product being released. Um, we always like to look at stuff to see if it would fit with our clientele back home. And, uh, you know, they're just the most unique opportunities that anybody's going to have are all going to take place here, and we love it every year. Okay, and tell me about something you've seen or heard or done so far a couple days in that you've uh, really thought was cool? Uh, I spent a lot of time in the Yamaha booth today. Uh, we do a lot of different products that they put out. Uh, I spent a lot of time at Korg and uh, both booths really had a lot of uh, product that was new and different and uh, everybody's introducing new stuff. Uh, and you kind of look at it and have them kind of show you how it works and see how it would work for your clientele back home and both have been uh, really interesting booths for me today. Okay, great, thank you. Now that was a really cool feature. I like that new addition to the broadcast. As a female who is part of the music products industry, I love seeing the ladies get their due. Well, last night the 2018 She Rocks Awards honored some of the most incredible women in the worlds of MI and music. Here's a look at last night's event that rocked the Anaheim House of Blues. And becoming a part of this community of women who rock has been a bonus and something that I didn't even know about when I started out and it's something I can be really proud of. It's all about connecting with people and telling a story and the excitement about what's next and thank you so much for this, I really appreciate it. I feel so incredibly lucky to come to work each day to help make the world a little more musical with all of y'all. Thank you. Getting this award on our 30th anniversary couldn't be better timing. So again, I thank you all. Awesome. Please join me in honoring the wildly talented Nita Strauss. I'm deeply, deeply honored to accept this award from my greatest guitar hero, Steve Vai. <laughs> And I humbly thank each and every one of you for joining me in this journey as we strive to inspire the next generation of strong women in this industry. Thank you.
Talks wasn't the only event to take place last night. There were tons of great parties out there, including the Yamaha All-Star Concert on the Grand. Let's take a look at this star-studded event. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. Wow, 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 that was some really awesome stuff last night, but there are even more star-studded events happening tonight. In case you haven't heard the news, Peter Frampton is set to come alive tonight at the 34th Annual NAM Tech Awards. That's right, the man himself will be there in the flesh to receive the Les Paul Innovation Award, and I bet he'll have his guitar with him. I hope so. It's definitely an event that you don't want to miss. Also definitely not to be missed are the incredible new products being launched at NAMM. Let's take a look at some more, starting with an exciting new offering from EHX. The FX Masters at Electroharmonics are always experimenting with new ways to shape sound. Their latest creation, the Stove Tech Deluxe Big Muff Pie, packs some of the company's most well-known effects into one package. It combines the signature tones of the Civil War and Green Russian Big Muff with the sound shaping control of the Deluxe Big Muff. Now that means you can get the same killer sound without paying a ton for vintage pedals. Okay, I'm here to check out Evan's Drumheads because I've been hearing a lot of noise about a new low volume product offering. So here's the scoop on the Sound Off Drumheads. Whether you're looking for a low volume practice setup for home or need some quiet drumheads for your electronic kit, these Sound Off models have you covered. They're made using a single ply of black mesh material that dramatically reduces the volume of everyday drumming. So you can bang on the drums all day with no worries. And they're available in sizes from 8 inches to 24 inches, so you can even bring the volume down on your bass drums. In the ACC North Lobby, check out the NAM pop-up shirt shop. Each day features real-time screen printing with a new one-day-only design. Shirts are made to order starting at 2 p.m., only while supplies last. Act fast, don't miss out. EAW is very proud to power the 2019 She Rocks Awards. The show will feature EAW's flagship adaptive sound system. Korg has given its Minilog synthesizer a major upgrade. The new Minilog XD packs even more good things into a small package. It has the same form factor as the Minilog, but it also features a four-voice analog synthesizer circuit inspired by the Prolog, as well as a 16-step sequencer and micro-tuning of the Monolog. And that's not all. It also packs more effects processing than any of Korg's analog synths with reverb, delay, and modulation functions. And it's easy easy to use for musicians of any level. The new CP series models from Yamaha represent what the company calls a radical reinvention of the digital stage piano. The 73 key CP73 and 88 key CP88 were built from the ground up for gigging musicians. They feature the best sound Yamaha has to offer, plus a completely reimagined user interface. They also offer three main sections that can be split or combined as desired. The piano section samples two of the finest concert grand pianos in the world.
The electric piano section features vintage key tones and stomp box style effects, and the subsection offers organ, strings, percussion, and much, much more. All that adds up to a mid-tier product with top-tier features. Okay, let's shift to the only awards program where the MI industry pays tribute to its own. I've heard people call it the Grammys of the music products industry, and of course, I'm talking about the 33rd Annual Music and Sound Awards, and as always, they are presented by the folks at the Music and Sound Retailer. We have a brand new award this year for Outstanding MI Service Provider. Our first winner is Reverb, and I have David Colt to talk about it. Congratulations, David. Awesome. Thank you, Brian. Really appreciate it. Thank you, dealers, for really acknowledging Reverb and all that we do to make the world a more musical place and helping you interact with your customers all over the world selling more gear. So um, we're really um, humbled to receive this award, and thank you very much. Best acoustic guitar goes to Taylor Guitars. I'm here with Andy Powers to talk about it. Congratulations. Thank you. This is, uh, we really appreciate this, especially because it comes given uh, as, as being voted on by the dealers. Now, as a builder, I really appreciate the dealer's effort in putting these guitars into the hands of musicians. I mean, none of these guitars, whether the K14 or the Grand Pacifics, they don't sound like anything until a musician's playing. So I see the dealers as part of the guitar building process to get that thing into the hands of a player making music where it belongs. So I, I really appreciate the effort and support that our dealers have put into these guitars and delivering them as well as our message to the wider musical community. So thank you for the honor. We really appreciate it. I'm here with Shure's Mike Johns to present the Music and Sound Award for Best Wireless System uh, for the ADX Series Transmitters. Congratulations, Shure. Thanks so much, Anthony. On behalf of everyone at Sure, I want to thank you guys at the Music and Sound Retailer, all of your readers, all of the dealers, and everyone associated with providing Sure with this prestigious award. Uh, we're really excited uh, with Axion Digital and the ADX series launch. It's been a game-changing wireless solution for Sure and for our industry. Um, it's created uh, a use cases for just about every type of wireless user you can imagine. So we're really excited to receive this award and, and are appreciative of it, so thank you. Hey, I'm here with Alan Heath, the winner for Best Mixer Comp for the SQ7, Rob Clark. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. We're absolutely thrilled to have the award. We'd like to thank all of the US dealers out there for voting for the product. Fantastic. We're thrilled with the product. Great to hear the customers are too. Thank you very much. We're at the Korg booth for our Best Amplifier of the Year Award that goes to Vox. We have Brian Piccolo to talk about it. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Um, it's an honor. We uh, put a lot of work into making the AC3112 and we we're very happy with it. We're very grateful to all of our dealers and the uh, Music and Sound Retailer for this award. It's, uh, it's very exciting for us. So um, I hope you all get a chance to check out the amp if you haven't already because it's a good one. It's always great to see so many great MI industry people recognized for their hard work. With so much talent and innovation out there, it's no wonder the state of the industry is strong. I can't wait to see what the future holds. That's right, Jill. With all the products I've seen out here, it's going to be an incredible competition for next year's Music and Sound Awards. All right, speaking of the future, D'Angelico is all about the future of music. And there's no greater proof than their new Brandon Neater Hour Atlantic signature model. This alternate take on the Atlantic hard body was designed in collaboration with 15-year-old rising rock star Brandon Taz Neater Hour. Let's check in with Melora, who has recruited a very special guest to demonstrate the product. Melora? I'm over at D'Angelico right now with Brandon Taz Nieder Hour, and he's got some really exciting news about a signature, signature guitar. Brandon, tell us about what an honor this has to be for you. I mean, this is such an honor. I mean, it's a dream. It's every guitarist's dream, especially here at NAMM, to, you know, have a signature, something that really represents you, and I mean, this, this I designed with the wonderful guys at D'Angelico. We've got a 59 uh, Seymour Duncan pickup in the rhythm position and in the treble we have an antiquity pickup and I mean it's really you get such clean and warm tones and you get some rocking tones too with the flip of a toggle switch so I really love the versatility of this instrument and I mean the neck feels amazing I'm really loving it and I cannot wait to play it well I can't wait to hear you play it it's absolutely beautiful and you guys check this guy out he's not going anywhere nor is this guitar you're gonna be seeing them both in the future
I have to say that was truly incredible. And after seeing that, I'm really feeling pretty optimistic about the future. Now let's head on down to the Adam Hall booth where Melora has one more story to file. Jill, I do have another story with you, and it is about Adam Hall. I am here with president of the North American subsidiary, Steve Savides. Steve, congratulations on being in North America. Exciting for everybody. But right now, I'd like to talk to you about products. So what do you got for us? Well, we really are excited to be at our first NAM show as Adam Hall North America. And of course, in addition to you know all the brands that uh, Adam Hall has, LD Systems, Cameo, Gravity Stands that we have here, and Defender, at this show, we're focusing on Palmer, and we're doing an entire you know, outdoor theme, go play outdoors and some really neat stuff. You can take pictures outdoors and have them printed at the booth. And uh, Palmer actually is being redesigned from the ground up, both in terms of technology and uh, all of the innovations that are in the brand. It's a 30 year old legacy brand that we have. There'll be a new logo, there'll be a new design that's gonna go throughout the brand. So I think people are gonna be really excited to see what we have in store for Palmer at this show. Visit the ACC North and experience the latest in pro audio technology. With dynamic booth events and celebrity demos, you'll want to check out this innovative and electric area of the NAM show daily. What'd you do to this thing? <laughs> All right, I think we're just about ready to sign off, but the broadcasts we've done the last three days, don't forget, are easily some of the most memorable we've ever done, right? You gotta rewatch them. You're right, Jill, it's been a great NAM show, and as always, I'm thrilled to be here with you again. No, no, the pleasure is always mine, Melora. And as always, thank you so much for watching Testa's Convention TV at NAM. Tomorrow will be a broadcast highlights from the last three episodes. So if you missed an important segment that we aired during the last three days, don't worry, there's a really good chance you can catch it tomorrow. And for more information about the NAM show, you'll find a complete wrap up in the February and March issues of the Music and Sound Retailer. I, of course, would like to thank my TV cohort and good friend, Melora Donahue. Mel, you're always great to work with. Love seeing you. And uh, you've even exceeded my sky high expectations for the show. You do that every year. You keep up in the ante. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, well, thank you, Jill. You know, I strive to do better every year just for you. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you guys next year. Thanks so much, Melora. You are the best. Before we go, just a reminder, don't forget to check out our best of broadcast tomorrow. We may even have some bloopers from myself and Melora to share. Not that I'm really looking forward to that segment. It's always embarrassing, but it is funny. Okay, I also want to thank the editorial staff of the Music and Sound Retailer, Brian Burke, Anthony Vargas, and Amanda Mullen, who put together all this information for this broadcast. Of course, we couldn't do this show without their hard work. I'm your host again, Jill Nicolini, and of course, Melora Donahue, and everyone at the Music and Sound Retailer, we thank you for joining us. Have a great rest of the show. Here's to the music makers, craftsmen who sculpt its precision, giving shape to sound. The performers who've conquered its complexity, giving life to legacy. To the composers, who forward its future. And the providers who promote a lifelong dedication. To those at the forefront of learning, nurturing new inspiration. Here's to the ones who follow the dream and the ones who never give up. Here's to the music makers, here's to you.